Hi there! Nowadays, nobody will be surprised by anyone breeding more new species of animals, but can we be sure that they are all harmless? Watching this episode to the end, you will be able to answer this question, because in front of you awaits giant super crocodiles reaching 20 feet in length, creepy dogs that look like dire wolves, hybrids of the most powerful and dangerous bears on the planet, and much more. Let's get it on! Australian Black Tip Shark This is one of the few shark hybrids known to science. It was discovered in January 2012, off the coast of Australia. In a stretch of shallow water nearly 125 miles long, researchers have found 51 representatives of this eerie and unusual species. The very appearance of a hybrid suggests that sharks are trying to adapt to warmer waters, and the news of the appearance of the hybrid alarmed scientists because almost all mestizos turned out to be larger and more powerful than their parents, which means that over time they can completely displace them from these places. And what could be more frightening from the inhabitants of this continent than the news of a new shark, which turned out to be stronger and larger than the previous ones? Super Crocodiles Did you know that the birth of giant crocodiles may well be the work of human hands, or rather the result of crossing marine and freshwater individuals? This often happens in captivity. For example, one of the most famous Asian crocodiles, which reaches almost 20 feet in length, is a mestizo. The giant was caught in Thailand in 1972, and since then he lives on a crocodile farm and is the record holder for the longest crocodile. However, every year the probability of competition from American and Cuban reptiles increases. As a result of agricultural work and drainage of swamps, freshwater crocodiles are also forced to move from their sea brethren. Who knows what the consequences will be? Wolf Dog have you ever watched Game of Thrones? The dire wolves from the series are very similar to the real-life wolf dogs. Modern wolf dogs are a cross between subtle breeds of domestic dogs and wild wolves. Such crossing is extremely rare in the natural way. Most often, people are the initiators of the appearance of wolf dogs. The reason for this is the desire to protect oneself from attacks by wolves and woodlands. But getting such an animal was not always the solution to the problem. Very often, such mestizos turned out to be wild and poorly fed to training. Nowadays, such crossing is officially prohibited in most countries of the world. But of course, there are still people who are willing to pay big bucks on the black market to get a wolf dog. Such buyers hope the animal can become a companion and protector, but this very rarely turns out to be true. Only in the first few years of life will the wolf dog behave like a regular dog. In adulthood, wolf genes take over, and the animal becomes very aggressive, constantly trying to establish themselves as the leader. The owner begins to see the wolf dog not as a friend but as a rival. Because of this aggression, the animal is often abandoned. Nine out of ten of these wolf dogs end up on the street in the first years of life. The law does not help out in this case either. In many countries, it is officially opposed to keeping such pets, which are considered wild animals. The only place where these outcasts can live a normal life is in special shelters for domesticated wolves. Growler Bear Growler bears are known as pizzly bears, which are hybrids of grizzly bears and polar bears. The product of such unusual alliances was inevitable. As temperature rise in the Arctic and urbanization in many northern regions, polar bears are beginning to migrate south, and grizzly bears are hiding north to escape similar problems. Polar bears need to find new territories for life because the polar ice they are used to is beginning to melt rapidly. In new places, the number of adult males is significantly reduced as a result. It is necessary to look for other options for protection. The offspring of grizzlies and polar bears are extremely dangerous. Both types of bears are large and fierce predators, and they inherit all their hunting instincts. Growler bears are increasingly seen in Alaska and northern Canada, and scientists are confident that one day they will outnumber their ancestors. Zhou Zhou are also known as Kanag, which is a hybrid between the yak and a domestic cow. 
Canags are characterized by a genetic feature, due to which the offspring are always larger and more powerful than their parents. Their extraordinary endurance has made these animals popular with the population at the foot of Everest. At the highest mountain in the world, there are many climbing camps, which are constantly in need of supplies of food and equipment. Many generally argue that only thanks to this hybrid, the local population can easily survive all year round in the harsh mountain climate. However, scientists do not support such categorization. Despite their usefulness, Zhou are quite creepy creatures. Most are jet black in color, about 5 feet at the withers and weigh over 650 pounds. A woofen or a killer whale is a hybrid of a female dolphin from the genus bottlenose dolphin with a male little black killer whale. The first killer whale was born in Tokyo at SeaWorld but died at the age of 200 days. The second hybrid in the world was a female killer whale named Kei Kaimalu, born on May 15, 1986. She was born in captivity as a result of the unexpected mating of a male pseudo-killer whale and a bottlenose dolphin. This is a very rare hybrid. As it turns out, she can have offspring, which is quite rare for a hybrid. She gave birth to a cub at a very young age. The baby died a few days after birth. However, in 1991, Kei Kaimalu gave birth to another baby girl who was a quarter killer well and a three-quarter bottlenose. The sizes and other parameters of the killer well are average between the other species. Now only two wolfins live in captivity, both in the Sea Life Park in Hawaii. Scientists have heard reports of wolfins seen in the wild, but they have not yet been verified. Jaglion Can a cross between a Libyan and a jaguar exist in nature? Yes, science knows several such individuals. It was decided to name the found mestizos jaglions. The first jaglion was registered in 1967 in southern Africa. It was a hybrid of an African lioness and a South American jaguar. In 2006, two more jaglions were born in a Canadian nature reserve. A male black jaguar named Diablo began courting the lioness Lola. And it is not surprising because from the first months they grew up together and almost were never separated. When the couple reached maturity, the staff of the reserve tried to separate her. But after each attempt, the animal fell into a deep depression. After the next reunion, it became clear that the two so dissimilar representatives of wildcats are now a family. Scientists seriously doubted that such a different couple would have offspring. But they were mistaken. Jazara and Tsunami are now 14 years old. The first, because of its noble color, became a real star of the reserve, but she was not lucky. Lola gave up Jazara right after birth, possibly because of the same color. The female jagline was seen by the reserve staff. That's all for today. Write in the comments which hybrid seemed the most interesting to you, and if you like this video, then don't forget to put like. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.